Bills, and we're all trying to get along in one big, happy, multi-dimensional family. I smell a sitcom. Got it. It was the Grant Foundation, I believe, was what I named it. I believe that's what you called it, yes. Yeah, well, Haley, Haley Grant Revo is the uh, leader of it. I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, Revo Corp is the uh, ostensibly the good guys, I think. It's totally not just the word cover up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like my favorite parts. Like, um, okay. Fronties, not a front. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, so it's a thing. So as I recall <laughs> last time, you guys did make yourself your way to a happy little warehouse that was provided to you with um, money from somebody who is no longer here. Because the shopper got her careful last time, so it was just easier. Right. Thanks, um, Wraith. Yeah, Wraith is our sponsor. Oh, Spectre. It will le so, legally yeah, distinct. Yeah, legally distinct, yeah. Spectre, <laughs> Spectre <laughs> yeah. Spectre funded everything. She's been fucked up. She, I got us into the city by uh, bribing a guy with lottery numbers from the future. Yeah, that was great. I just teleported in and then this one. So now that the prologue is over, this will be... I, I have this split up into, like, uh, 11 issues. Uh, that'll be the uh, the comic book collection there. I have them all named. What's like, the What's the name of the first issue? The name of the first issue is I Know Where You Live. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, my relic is going to be called the Cosmic Cloak. And the reason why is because now I put the hood up so people can't see my face. <laughs> <laughs> it's that foolproof. Tracks. That tracks. Strong, strong breeze. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> have you and I met before? Nope. Right I totally didn't almost kill you. You totally didn't almost kill me. That didn't happen. Hashtag just Frank. <laughs> 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 like just, like he just keeps spouting that. Yeah. By the way, my name is Frank. Ah, who who is that sinister mastermind? It's Frank. <laughs> Legally distinct. Frank. Legally distinct. I can't wait to use my quality wahaha. -ha. <laughs> I'm gonna be really excited about it. Do it! How is this a quality? Well, I'm burning down an orphanage. This happens to be infested with alien babies, but it is an orphanage. <laughs> 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 that seems ultimately unnecessary. <laughs> what? I want to hinder using my quality wahaha. Hey, hey, hey. Let him have his toy. That's his toy. It's his. It's his favorite one, apparently. Alright. Apparently, it's his favorite one. I want to hinder with wah uh, I will break you down so molecule by molecule, then rebuild you the image of my bitch! <laughs> I know that. So, uh, the city is broken up into, I believe it was five different sections I said last time? That sounds right. Yeah. Uh, there are the wards, which are kind of on the outside of the city. It's mostly, like, built around the ruins of the previous city. Uh, there's a lot of tent houses. Basically, the unwanted riffraff is out there. Gangbangers, thugs, whatever have you. Okay. There's Dirt the bags. entertainment district. That's where most of the money right. comes from, honestly. Um, there's the industrial district, which big, that's all of your factories, all that good stuff. That's actually okay. where you guys are located. Okay. Your happy little warehouse building that's in there. And then there's the ritzy section, which is Elysium Heights. It is very high profile. Okay. That sounds like maybe it was only four. I don't four? remember. I definitely didn't write it down. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah it's like been a hot minute. Oh, no, I, I think you're right. I think it was four, but there's like that, that pseudo fifth or like the Grant Corporation or whatever. It's like just their big industrial complex. Wasn't maybe? That I don't remember that. Oh, there's the industrial section. Oh, then I guess the last point would be whatever residential area there is. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, can the cosmic cloak be a piece of Oblivion's underwear? Ew. That now whispers in my head because Oblivion's power is still there? No, that's a little nuts. But it'd still be funny. That what, is that a cloak? No, it's tidy whiteies. That would be cool. <laughs> Behold my cosmic <laughs> undies. Cosmic shaft. What? what? All right, so you guys who were here last time, you definitely know very well that the... The police in this city, and I use that they term very vague. They don't. They don't give. Them they are referred to as the peacekeepers. They are one hundred percent owned by the Grant Corporation, and they are not the most efficient at doing what it is they do. It's very obvious they, like these guys, stopped what was essentially a gang killing. Well, you stopped most of it. Some of it. <laughs> Some people still die. I may or may not have disemboweled a gangbanger, but that's all right. To be fair, right. he hit me with a bat. To be fair, he hit me with a bat. What was I supposed to do? 
Don't worry, Rack. I should have just handed you the bone. Okay. <laughs> I did get hit with a chain after imparting some eldritch knowledge on. I actually got hit with a chain, chain before. <laughs> and after. He came hit you with a chain and you went, whoa. <laughs> Alright, so how do you guys wish to honestly go about uh, well, saving the city as it were? There's a lot of problems. You can go out on patrol. You can go and try to speak with the Grant Foundation directly and maybe start to save whatever crumbling mess this is. I'm going to say Dr. Cosmic, a.k.a. Frank, would probably be on patrol only because he's looking for his old henchman going, guys, really knock it the fuck off. <laughs> like, we got to stop. Yeah, get real jobs. Okay. Get real jobs now. Yeah. Remember that guy at Lydia? Yeah, lost. and then when they won't do it, he just turns him into, you know, cosmic radiation and go, all right, now, Phil, you, honestly, John didn't know what the fuck's going on. Do you get it? Well, you. You, Phil, I believe in you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you. Yeah, boss, I got it. Okay, good, good, good. Now. <laughs> now, now repeat, repeat what I just said back to me. Rape, pillage, loot. Fuck you! <laughs> so, Dr. Cosmic is going to go on patrol trying to stop his former henchmen from doing the bad things they're doing in Haven. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Ah, I got it. Sounds fair. Ow. So, don't kick the table. Hurts. Does anyone else have a plan? Yeah, I'll go on patrol. I don't know how I know you guys, but I do. Yeah, that's somehow. the thing. Do we just like? Or do we just know? I mean, you're our neighbor. Dog. I mean, you guys, you all came together, but Michelle and Sean's character were totally not with you. We Maybe. didn't even say they were already there. So or, how are you getting out, Michelle and? Oh, is they're in the warehouse right now, right? I was That's what you see picked up. Corp, yep. Because so were there bad guys there? Gone. No, this is just literally a warehouse that they've kind of taken as like they're almost paying rent here. Like just they are just this is going to be their superhero headquarters. Oh. But legally distinct Wraith is the one. Do you guys do we, the bill. Does, are you guys known at all? We not, were in a not refugee. inside the wall. <laughs> it, 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 in the last session, we were basically in a refugee camp. Okay. Made our way so that, that idea. City. The idea I had was they like in the next scene maybe when they had to go do the thing, that's when they run into me maybe stopping one of my henchmen. I go, oh, hello, fellow good people. Yes, How's fellow heroes. Good, How good are good you to meet doing, you? young kids? Yeah. I guess hello, I've never fellow seen <laughs> Frank's never seen his uh, yeah. direction selection before. Yeah. This motherfucker's <laughs> talking shit. He has. He actually saw it in the, the fireplace before. <laughs> he was very intrigued. I'm gonna, or maybe he sees the deer out there. <laughs> Alright, so we will start with the amazing thing of Dr. Cosmic over here. Okay. So, currently within the streets, there are, I believe these are D6 minions, right? <laughs> yep. So, there are currently four <laughs> of these horrible things. The lizard things? This thing on the bottom. Ah, oh, the, 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 the mouth. I don't the like mouth. it. Yeah, the the tentacly mouth. It is literally just listed as strange extraterrestrial. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. And these things are just going have a head. Now the problem a being, you had control over them at one point, but now without Oblivion's power and without it, like you're still powerful. You still got what you got. But these fuckers are just biting things. Gemini, <laughs> no, back, back. Yeah. I imagine it's going like, ah, oh, come on. Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay. So he's like, he's thinking real hard. And he's like, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to, I think what I would probably try to do is like disable them somehow. Okay, you can attempt to hinder. So I can Or attempt an overcome check. Now, I have something to... called disabling blast. Okay. So could I do that? You could. So I'm in my green. I don't remember specifically what that did. Uh, that was attack with max die, and then you hinder the foe with your mid die. I mean, you can just straight fight them if you wish. Or I can try to overcome them somehow. Yeah, yeah let's try that with like with some qualities first. Um, okay. Or principles. I'm gonna use my bwahaha. <laughs> <laughs> and the bwahaha quality is minions. Your master has returned. Okay. <laughs> so the way that any of these overcome checks work, so you roll your status die. Okay. Your quali whatever quality you're using for it, and then one power. Okay. So, so status, I'm in green, so it's a D6. Yep. My quality is a D8, <laughs> because I'm using wahaha. And then a power... That thing looks super dope, right? 
Wait, I have other qualities. Yeah. It's just one quality, one power. And Maybe stats. what I'll do instead of wahaha is I'll use imposing because that makes much more sense. Okay. And then the power is going to be cosmic power as I light myself up with all my crazy powers. All right, so roll the three of those and we will see what your overcome comes up to. I so got to. Whatever the min or the mid one happens to be. Eight. Oh. Okay. Whoa. So an eight. Uh, ba -ba -ba, I believe this was the overcome. So action completely succeeds. Oh, an, gotcha. eight, an eight to an eleven is a complete success. Yay! So literally, so there are people just <laughs> screaming and running in fear from these things. The police are like kind of trying to shoot at them, but then you just come floating down all majestically and you there, yeah. bitches, yeah. horrible yeah. beings, back from whence you came. You just casually open up a portal. Yep. And it's like, oh, all right, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Return from Wednesday. Now, they, they speak to you. They say, oh, all right, boss. Nobody else understands that. Nobody hears. All right. And they just. Wait, 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 put that back. Can, drops a leg. He's <laughs> chewing on. <laughs> Can we say Mary. this is when I show up? I said, that's what. I, I was trying to talk to them with otherworldly mythos, and it just was not going well. So, yeah, so you three just fucking Spanish. show up, ready to fucking kick some ass, and this guy's just casually escorting them throughout. Just, come on, buddy, go ahead. Yeah. And one stops. I, I know. Uh, we'll talk about your pension later, okay? Dialect. <laughs> 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 I have The important heard part is dialect. they can't really get back to their own dimension right now, so I don't know where he sent them. But they're on not the here. <laughs> they're on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I teleported them to like the bottom of the Hudson or something. <laughs> <laughs> no pension for you, Ted. Joke's on you! <laughs> it's specifically not covered in the insurance plan. Yeah. <laughs> Drowning by teleportation's not in the plan. I, I've done How do you think I got rid of all of my problem employees? I've done away with you as I've done away with all of my foes. I've teleported you to the core of the sun. Or to an IHOP, which is just as evil. No. <laughs> Waffle House. No. Come on, Waffle House. There's always <laughs> fights at Waffle House. Yeah, come visit Satan. <laughs> yeah, we're, just, we're putting you in a bathroom in a CVS. All right, so I, I, I teleport them away, my my cloak billowing with it up, and like I'm thinking that when his cloak is up, his face just looks like the, the universe, and like you look into like a uh, like a galaxy and stuff. And yeah, that's yeah, what the cloak okay. does, and that's my power set. Exactly. Series of applause from the people that are standing there, those that are not dead. Like, I look around like kind of like ducks. I hear noises, thinking that people are shooting at me. <laughs> I'm totally used to so that's what happens usually. And then I go like. Eh. Hi, my name. My name's Frank. <laughs> he, ah. he, he starts the swell of like the dramatic doctor. I'm Frank. Yep. Just just trying yeah, to yeah, just, just Frank. Just trying to do a good deed. Uh, tip your waitress. Uh, okay. And he just walks away. <laughs> so uh -huh. Revo Corp. We should go see them because they it is the Grant Foundation. They ah. definitely could help us out. We now have a team. I mean, I mean, I know Wraith is or Spectre, legally distinct Wraith, is sponsoring us. But I mean, now that we're you know a four-man team, we could we could really get registered as. Uh, yeah, I think ah. Revo Corp. Should be you you want to like? Are are what you're saying it happens? You say you want to work with the city to try to see what it is you guys can do to help fix it. Yes. Fix the problem. That, yes. That's fair enough. We need to, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, can. Uh, hello, fellow do-gooders. Um, do-gooders. I, uh, I <laughs> have a possible idea of what possibly could, you know, <laughs> you help the city. He wasn't even a person. <laughs> he didn't even to vote in this country. Uh, <laughs> just, I mean, just kind of spitballing here. I, I know of some various henchmen and other people that are causing problems around town and you know the names and such maybe we could you know go and knock them straight you know uh, help the city by making the evil henchmen stop what they're doing <laughs> Suppose we're uh, for it. <laughs> adding You're like i swear i know you <laughs> just, uh, uh, just, just adding to the fact that he so, just dyed the fucking cloak a different yeah. color he like i pulled the cloak down so like the universal thing like the universe in my face is gone and you just see like this tired looking man with long black hair and a, be a black beard that used to be really well kempt but doesn't look like it anymore it's just fucking <laughs> everywhere yeah. yeah that's just and he just looks like ri like rings under his eyes his eyes are a little bloodshot like we yeah, he hasn't slept in a month yeah we definitely could do this you know i, I i'm always looking for great 
partners. Partners, yes, that's the word. <laughs> And so, so just to sell the effect, Sean, like I said, King Shark, but a badger, so like an American badger. Yeah. But I'm seven and a half foot tall, stooped over. I've got the, like, two foot and a half claws like, that should be used for burrowing. They are not. <laughs> well, you burrow through people pretty quickly, actually. I'm going to, like, I'm going to touch a car shark. tire and turn it into a giant grub and just kind of hand it to the badger as a, like, a... <laughs> That's a this piece of a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bug! <laughs> Sorry. Ew. <laughs> you need <Awesome>. that? <laughs> no. So is that where you guys wish to go? Is yeah. that what you wish to do? Well, that's that. I'm going to propose to them, and you know, I'm this is random guy. To you guys to see. I mean, honestly, going hey, I mean, going by the symbol on his chest uh, that is taped over the very the very convincing sticker, this Frank gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, yes. <laughs> just like immediately zeroes in on Frank here. Uh, it, it's Doctor Frank. I got my PhD. <laughs> oh, or, really? Yeah. Well, well, Michelle, we will get to you in a minute. Uh, cosmic power? Uh, <laughs> or once again, just selling to the fact that I'm a big scary strange. motherfucker. It's like the, the big claws, like, Frank. <laughs> I feel like Frank knows what's... I, I, He's obviously I was been in the city longer than us. It, this guy you know, seems on the up trying and up. To get the, you could have been here like for the skinny a couple on them. I was trying to get the skinny from them, and I could not speak their dialect. Some kind of, so the, well, some okay, kind of Turkish. The problem, the problem is you rolled your R's, and they just don't respect them. You need more for that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I yeah. knew it. You sound like, you sound like a foreigner. They're just like, I'm not going to talk to this guy. So, is, that mean, direction, uh, is that the direction right, everybody wants to go? Yeah, yeah. that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That's, I, that's really... Uh, that's I think that's right what they want to do anyway, because the Grand, the Grand Foundation is... Like, as players, we all know that the Grand Foundation is probably the shit axe, right? Well, right? We're, we're all... <laughs> Yeah. We are implying that totally not a front corp is evil? Like, just, I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm so going to disrespect them so much that when we Walmart? pull up in my chariot of the sun god, I'm going to land on their helicopter pad. So, Jesus. you know, I have this former henchman uh, that I've known of because he never worked for me because I don't have henchmen. But I know of him because he used to harvest technological parts from various people and then sell them on the black market. It was very lucrative, very good at funding things, but it's not good from what I, I've heard. So we should probably stop that, right? All right? Yeah. We could. Yeah, yeah. We so we're definitely about that. So as you guys are going to move on to your other direction, our scene transitions to the actual business offices of the Grand Foundation, a completely opulent, unnecessary tower. Oh God, is that my candy? <laughs> Michelle, you. Are, wait, are in the waiting room, because once again, security is not noticed during here. Um, you've been in this city probably about, I'll say like six months. Now, you were not here by yourself. You were the first superhero in here, in this city, but you were not by yourself. You had a partner, a person by the name of The Ohm, electricity-based powers and such like that. Ah. Now, you happen to know he told you he was coming here to meet her, with her. But they seem to have no recollection of that, and they have just refused to let you in. You got into the security office, at the, or not security office, but you're in the waiting room. Because at this point, they're just tired of dragging you Don't out. But you know very well he came here. He walked into the front door and said, see you for lunch. So it all seems sus. Yeah. Currently, the receptionist is just clicking away on, on her laptop, once again ignoring you. Well, that's fun. Hold up. The latest uh, doctoral thesis on... Uh, You're like, fine, I'm not fucking leaving then. Put your on, shoes uh, on the furniture. Yep. On, uh... Bitch, wanna play petty? I'll play petty, then go. I fucking go, go. Gravity Ouch. and, uh, warped temporal, uh... Travel theorems ah, that yes. doing. The, the, the nerd When a bit of a ruckus begins to happen outside. Now, <laughs> somebody's shouting about somebody's up on the helipad for some reason. You're not sure what that's all about. Because it's supposed to be kept clear. You know. They're kind um, of superhero probably saw that. <laughs> perhaps you should attend to what's going on up there. Seems there's a bit of trouble on your, uh, Roof, but then again, I uh, I could help you, but uh, y'all took my axe away from the building. He, he 
flies on a magical chariot. Oh. He, he flies on Apollo's sun chariot. Oh, that's where we're going? <laughs> okay. Yes, um, <laughs> All you hear is, <laughs> As I fly with you for like, oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, fine. Oh, oh, great. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, the Chandra Sakarth. Uh, I get. I just get down like. Limit one oh. Big, big fucking badge you should drop your back. Okay. <laughs> First time flying, huh? On a fiery chariot. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The yeah. vomit yeah. bag's on the right. I don't think it's full. <laughs> um. Yeah, this is starting to pique up her interest. So yeah, she'll uh, step I outside and then. Blip up there. I, I, I oh, do Lord. want to think that if there's security up there, the muffled shouts are, No, dude, don't shoot. It's seriously not going to hurt me. Don't do it. <laughs> Say, you're, you're going to look real funny when that shoved up your ass, man. <laughs> so after I, like, scream very unceremoniously, I pull the cloak back up to try to gain my composure because now this <laughs> looks like a universe. <laughs> and then behind it, I'm going, <laughs> so your universe has the fucking anime tears rolling yeah. down. <laughs> so, so you're just against the big fucking badge, you're doing the seasickness back rub. It's okay, man. It's all right, okay. Buddy. I hear taking off your shoes helps. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Start floating again. Okay. When into existence pops, and Michelle, I don't know what your character looks like. Um, she looks like your average nerdy bookish type. I'm wearing like, like the Velma Dinkley. Is that just like what you're rocking? Kind like of, just <laughs> kind of, yeah. Um, it's Velma Dinkley. Has, like, has like three books levitating in front of her at the same time on various astrophysical and temporal theories. No. <laughs> Puts them into her back. Oh, that's what the ruckus was. So the security guys are up here really confused about what's going on. She flashes her badge. Don't worry. Don't worry. I still have access up here. What the fuck? I used to work here. Remember? A uh, gentleman, uh, I'm just going to say that you, your firearms probably aren't very effective with the clientele. What I would suggest <laughs> is possibly <laughs> just helping us figure out what we're doing. Enough talk. I walk in between the two of them, impart eldritch knowledge. Oh, God, no! <laughs> yeah. We're good guys! Uh, All right, uh, give me an overcome check. <laughs> Go ahead and tell me what you're doing with it. Uh, oh. Otherworldly mythos. Uh, nuclear? What? <laughs> He's got to fuck with their brain meat to get it to work. <laughs> See, I was going to try imposing instead of just trying to convince him to like, back down. We're in green, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Uh -oh. For the next second or two. <laughs> As these guys get their brain melted. Oh, no. Oh, no. What'd you get, bud? Oh, a 12, fuck. a 6, and a 3. So 6. Okay, so the mid-die is a 6. Yes. So the action succeeds, but with a minor twist. Oh, no. Their brains are melted. Uh, That's a major, major twist, my guy. Okay, so you just walk over. Don't worry, guys. And you attempt to impart Eldritch knowledge upon them. And unfortunately, you're not really sure what you did. You gave them some Eldritch knowledge, but one of them's arm just gets replaced by a tentacle. You can make a lot in Japanese porn. Yeah, this guy. I swear I know you. <laughs> just, uh, I'm Frank. <laughs> nice to meet you. And like, nice, nice to meet you guys, it says so the other dude's fucking like. That sounded like he was drinking, because I was, but literally he has a beer, like, no, I'm Frank. <laughs> he pulls it off his glove. I use my teleportation phone to reach into a cooler I have back at home. <laughs> and he starts to level his gun Someone at you. Someone else is Fuck cooler. Yes. So he starts to level his gun at you, and then just kind of stops and answers the earpiece. Are you, are you sure? Oh, all right, calm, calm down, calm down. Calm your tits. All right, apparently an appointment has just opened up. Miss Grant will see one of you. Okay. She said you get to decide who goes. For the record, I refuse to play rock, paper, scissors anymore. I can only throw scissors or paper. It's bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I, I... I'm not the best speaker. <laughs> I, no, wait, wait. I mean, I have... Badger I can only throw qualities, signal, throw paper. But... I definitely have, in the past, negotiated plenty on my behalf. How about two of us? Somebody can attempt an overcome check to see if they can convince them. Uh, okay. Can I try to overcome? Me, Chief. Uh, I, I want to use my uh, uh, my principle of the juggernaut. Okay. Because it doesn't have to be violent, but it is me just running into a situation. 
Okay. Uh, oh, no. it, it's it's going to be one of those like, who's gonna? What do you tell a, a five hundred pound gorilla when it wants to sit on your couch? You don't tell so, it a fucking thing. So you're gonna walk. Tell up. it to get. Well, oh, James, go ahead. Throw me that overcome check. Yeah, I just like so, walk in like I belong. I'm escorting this person in. So, so yep. you're gonna you're gonna you get to try use to using your max die. You're so, gonna. What what abilities and qualities? Uh, I'm gonna use. Uh, well, my impose is a, an eight. My strength is an eight, and uh, and or, or no, my uh, oh yeah, I need another eight. It's one of the few sweets like, of eights I get to roll. It's like I'm a cleric maid and have a circle of the d8, bro. So uh, use your max die on six. One. So everybody gains a hero point. Woo! You got Yay! a six, James. Yep. So the action succeeds, but with a minor crit. So you Mur just, Thank you, so you just push your way in, and more security guards have come out at this point. And they're like, "Okay, that guy's going." The twist is that there will only be one of you going. Yeah, gambled uh, lost. Yeah. Uh, so the badger. That's why I did it. I thought it was going to be fun. Enters into the office. Can I add this a flavor thing? Because he's going into the office before he leaves, I want to use my illusion power to give him a bow tie. I love it. Yeah, because yes. I, wanted, I wanted to look fancy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you, Badger, you notice that you now have an illusionary. No, actually, transmutation. I transmutate the hair around his neck into a bow tie. That is cool. It is itchy. And it's the hair, so I can't get under and it. And you're like, no! Oh, that's going to hurt like hell right. if I do that. <laughs> I should use my Shh. gadgets Ooh. power. No, no, no. To... Gadgets with creativity to make an earpiece so I can hear what is going on with this nonsense. That's a um, good idea. Let's see, so I kind of went out of an initiative order. I didn't really keep you guys in one at this point, and you did just attempt something a second ago. So, okay. from here on, we will kind of try to keep it in an, an initiative. I kind of forgot about doing that. I was just kind of leaving it in a freeform yeah. moment. Same, sir. All right. So, the badger. So you are escorted to the office. By I'm all they, they kind of just point you to the direction. Please do not break the door. She walked already through the helipad floor for no fucking reason. There was a door five feet that way. I'm <laughs> uh, reminded of the Simpsons episode when they're in Japan. Homer just keeps walking through the rice paper walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and, like just for no reason. No reason. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I look at the normal human sized door. Look at the guy who said, "Please don't try to please don't break the door," and go, dude. I give him the, I, the the universal like. Can't you like squeeze or something? Oh, I, yeah. I'm not gonna just try to bull through it, but I'm I'm, I'm saying what happens happens. <laughs> I'm half as fall. wide as I am tall, dude. Uh, there's a juice bar downstairs. Thank uh, you. You're like, hey, you call me fat? Like <laughs> the dude's already taken off at this point. You're like, son of a bitch. Yeah, just like, just like the, 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 the merest whisper on the wind. I smell your beer. So you make your way in, James, and it, it, he closed, yeah, you know, it, the, the door is closed, or attempting to close without you, apparently it's automatic. <laughs> in the middle. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Eventually get my way through. To a very opulent office, like... There's a bar over on the right hand side. There's a desk over on the left, and there's there's access to another room over there, and you can hear sounds coming from in there, including a hollering of I'll be with you in just a minute. Take your time. So you're you're welcome to look in that room if you so wish, or you can just wait in here. Um Finley's big, imposing, and jaded, but he's not an asshole. So like, you know, the it was a female voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she said she'd be in in a moment, so the way the way that reads to me is go ahead and look around the room, but that's the room that I'm expecting somebody to be in. Okay, that's fair. There's your like you know your your generic office furniture is around in there. Like I said, there's a bar. Um, you can tell from the, the noises somebody's in doing some sort of physical activity. You're not sure, but you only hear one voice, so you're assuming it's uh, not that. But she comes out and she is like fucking ripped, like all things considered. Like she's not like you know. Shits with, you know, flapjacks, but... She's a hard body. Yeah, she's obviously in physical shape. I mean, she's in some sort of workout, so you're guessing that's what she was doing. Has the towel draped around her. She'll be like, okay, that's a... Oh, you're a large one. Yeah, I get that a lot. You must be the badger, is that correct? 
Yes, but I don't remember giving anybody my name. Oh, it's probably because you didn't. She walks over to the bar. It'd be impossible to guess. Begins pouring yourself a sure. drink. <laughs> would you like something? A glass of water would be lovely. All right. I'm, I'm big and came on a, and came on Apollo's flaming chariot. It's hot and dry. <laughs> Fair enough. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, well, completely backfooted. He was not expecting it to be like an actual business meeting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he he was expecting he, he was expecting you know and why should I fuck it? And he was gonna be like, let me tell you about you. You know, She's being very respectful. Yeah, you don't know shit about dick, motherfucker. Do you want to learn how to fly? Grow some wings, bitch. You're wearing a tie, so <laughs> this is a business meeting. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, my I will give you a boost with the tie. Sweet. Yes. Um, what yeah. What was what, what was the the, the original? Sean, roll your illusion die. Okay. What was it freedom uh, five? That yeah. Yes. Four. James, you get a plus two to whatever you uh, you do like in this meeting. Okay, so... Because of the tag. The tag. <laughs> so, I, uh, F because Finley's jaded, he knows that people don't take well to the whole, like, dick measuring contest. Right. You, you have to hold all the cards for a dick measuring contest. Finley holds none of them. He doesn't even know where the cards are. He doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> even know where the fucking cards are. He didn't play the same game. We're playing gin? <laughs> oh, <laughs> gin! <laughs> I love that bit. <laughs> Uh, so, so Finley is Thank going you. to actually use his D6 of banter. Oh, Neptune. Well, no, banter, just like friendly back and forth. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, and I will use, uh, I get my, my eight for quality, and then my, I don't have anything that would really feed off of this. I can't use my strength. Strong banter. So... Well, I mean, she is athletic. Maybe, you know, you show your athleticism that impresses her. It's true. Remember, one power, one quality, and your status. However you wish to flavor it. You're the one that came in here, so... Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, my, my imposing is a power. Hey, buddy. Uh, I is, is that, no, that's imposing quality. quality. Uh, so my powers are... Our claw... Oh, Frank wouldn't do that. Yeah, because that's your signature one? I don't yeah, so. my, I've got it's claw, funny. I've got my... I, I will bend my endurance power to just be like I'm, you know, like I'm willing to drag this meeting out. I will, I will filibuster her with my endurance. Just like no, no, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's work. All right, roll away. Out. I like that. I love. Um, and, makes sense. And it's going to be um, none of these powers say anything. So it's the mid die. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, and yeah, he, he's going to be like you know, it's friendly back and forth and all that stuff. But he's not, you know, he's not throwing his his weight around. He's you know respectful. You know, like, oh, well, so, so you're, you're Miss Grant, you're in the corporation, well, that's the cool thing is, my compatriots and I, we're trying to, we're trying to help. We're trying we to clean this yeah, city up. Yeah, we want to help the corporation, you know, because, and like, you know, really going over, like, we, you know, um, you know, outside the walls, it's not, uh, it's not what, what it's advertised as, a lot of people are coming into, a, uh, coming in from a bad situation to a frankly worse situation. Okay. You know, like, we're trying to, we're, we're trying to help her and the public image of the company and all that stuff, just like... Trying to be the consummate gentleman about the whole fucking thing. I'm gonna laugh oh. at Maxis. Alright, roll away. Uh, well, my mid die is a four for a six. Because you gave me a plus two boost from, from uh, Illusion. Alright, so action succeeds, but with a minor twist. Now, I can choose the twist, or you can. Uh, does it have the little, like, thing of, like, what the minor twists? Like, the, the, um... Uh, not the, uh, like, the generic list of, like, here's kind of what they think of, of, of what a minor would be, because I don't want to be like, this is a minor twist, and have it be fucking stupid. Uh, the hero loses health, pulls a max die. The hero is hindered using the max plus min dice. The hero must act by something important to them. Scene escalates towards a more dangerous state, if listening to the is. The hero is separated from the rest of the group, you already are. The hero draws attention to the form of a new minion. So, what is it that you... Uh... Or okay. if you want, I can I, do something. Uh, I'll run this one by you. So, you and I built Finley together. You know exactly his, his whole shtick. Mm -hmm. So, the, the minor twist would be that, like, Finley would... He, he would offer himself as, like, like to, to sweeten the pot for her to, to, like, this is a good idea. Um, 
for like you know Finley to go more or less on brand with the Grant Corporation. Like, I'm not saying I'll fly your colors, but you know, if anybody asks, we're here on behalf of the you know the the, the trying Grant, to sell it is yeah like, yeah you know we'll, yeah you you scouted us we didn't come to you you scouted us this was all you when we succeed. And, and she listens to your whole thing <coughs> and is very attentive. And she goes, well, I truly must ask, do you plan to do all that from your little warehouse at, and she just rings off the exact address you guys are at? Is, is that your plan? Is that where you plan to be from? Because I'm going to let you in on a little secret. And she kind of picks up her little remote, presses a little button, monitor comes down, and the whole city is incredibly under surveillance. Now you see, she just kind of starts clicking through. I was worried about supers coming in here. Now, you've been very okay, and I'm all right with that. We're just talking right now. But there's something I do need you to understand. If you're going to operate in this city, I own you. Now, do you have to listen to everything I say? No. But, clicks on the little one that shows right where you guys are. Maybe these things aren't as secure as I think they are. It's a heavily veiled thread. Uh, so I would like to actually use my strength, impose, and my, uh, and, and my, uh, and my, my qual, or my, uh, my health dice, to try to be like... <laughs> Bitch, you threatening me? Uh, Maybe not that. So yeah, but, but, but like, but. like the the equally veiled, like, like two can play at this game. I'm not wanting this to come to blows, but it's like, you know, if right. we wanna, if we want to play the who fucks who game, you know, we're we're gonna see where it goes. But like, how how much damage do you, does she think she can do before the nigh invulnerable badger? Because she already she knows about me. She knows I can mm -hmm. I can take a beating. How much of a beating from me does she think she can take since she, she's in arm's reach? What what can happen before I can get to her? That kind of thing. Okay. Like like you know you know what I'm trying to say yeah. without like yeah. without like being completely antagonistic, but it's like you, you, like like Samson where he's like you don't come after my own because that's the the whole thing. Okay. And my strength is a ten. Uh, I would assume I would not get the boon for the... No, no. We'll, we'll say that was a one-time bonus. Yeah. The first one, that makes sense. And, 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 and also... Got you in the door. Yeah. yeah. The bow tie. Wahaha, <laughs> bow tie. Uh, six. Six is my mid die. Six is action succeeds, but with a minor twist. So, you're doing the buff guy thing. You're kind of doing that walk up and be very imposing up close. And... She doesn't quite backpedal. But as you get close... Do I, get, do I at least get like a little start where she doesn't like go backwards, but like there's the twitch? So she starts to lean. And as you're kind of doing your thing, getting all close, she slips. She falls backwards. Uh, I have acrobatics. Can I stop? Like, is she going to like tumble out the window or something? No, no. So she was behind the bars being to you, but she slips as you get closer to it. She bangs her head against the wall. And she falls down. And you're just like, oh. Oh shit. I look her I look around the room. Camera, 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 please, somebody tell me. <laughs> and so you're like, oh shit, uh crap. Uh, no one's gonna I, if Finley hates people, but he's a good guy at heart, he's gonna like pull her out from behind the bar. Like like she banged her head, right? Mm -hmm. So basic knowledge is you don't move somebody who's hit their head. I'm uh, sure you think of the scene in Fight Club where he kicks his own ass, like you know, yep. the stuff he wants from his boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're right. bending down, you're like, oh shit, what the hell? And she flips right back up. There is a little bit of a pool of blood there. Before she, before she talks, Finley goes. <gasps> she reaches Continue. back, kind of touches her hand, and you, you can very well notice this. She gashed her head pretty good there. Are you? Okay? It begins to sew itself right back up. You are okay. Now, I believe you were saying something along the lines of how much I can do to you before you can do something to me. 
I mean, I don't doubt it'd be a knockdown drag out, but uh, let, that's let me, impressive. Let me put it this way, Mr. Finley. That one catches you because you definitely didn't say that. I'm going to roll this and then we're going to see how well she does actually at being imposing. One of those is she's trying to beat my six? Or? Yep. D8, D, D10, and D6. Yep. Hers is a four. Now that is an action succeeds, but with a minor twist. Now, I normally try to keep my composure in these kinds of things. And we've been very civil. I admit we got a little heated, and I apologize for that. If you are going to operate in my city, either you work for me, or you work against me. Now, I will let you leave this building. I don't think it needs to come to anything more than that. Agreed. All I request is that you stay out of the way of my peacekeepers. Now, I'm not trying to be a smart ass when I ask you this question. Yep. When you say out of the way of your peacekeepers, you are a very powerful woman. I don't want to cross you any more than I have to. This meeting has shown that, I, I believe. If your peacekeepers are involved, are we supposed to just stay out of it? Come hell or high water? Or if your peacekeepers prove to be less than efficient, should we be the heroes that we've wanted to be since we were children? My peacekeepers have the best interests at heart. Of the Grant Corporation. She snickers. <laughs> I think this meeting is adjourned. Uh, now, she gets a, a minor twist, right? Sure. Uh, am I privy to that twist, or is it just like a behind the scenes thing? Right. I, I'm just, I'm curious. Right. I will say that you definitely shook her a little bit. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to say. Was like, that fall wasn't on purpose. No, super wasn't. It was not intentional. She didn't want to play her hand. She prefers people not knowing. So now you know a secret about her as well. So at this point, it's more of a mutually assured destruction thing. If you stay out of my way, I'll stay out of yours. But be aware, you and all of your strange little friends should really not cross me. Well, that wasn't our intention. Like, he's he's kind of giving her the, the shit-eating grin kind of tone, where it's like, I came into this asking if I could help you, and this is where we kind of... This is where we she very much, off. it's very obvious, she does not seem interested in working with you guys. If anything, she didn't want you in the city at all. But she also very well proved she knows a lot more about you guys than what you really thought. And as far as you know, the surveillance around the city is probably not public knowledge, but it's definitely a thing. Uh, and yeah, yeah, uh, she said we're done with this meeting. Uh, and, and Finley is going to do, like, Finley's going to pull the, the bureaucratic power play where he's not going to say thank you for having this meeting with me. He's going to say thank you for coming to this meeting with me. <laughs> like, you're on my time. I'm not on your time. <laughs> like, Savage. Like, it, it's just that, that one little gem. Because I, like, I feel like moving forward, this, this relationship's going to be like little needles everywhere. Just like yeah, jab, jab, jab. Nothing's going to come of it unless one of us hyper fucks up. But... It's it's the not so cordial we have an accord. Uh, am, am I reading yeah. that right? It's one of the. It's kind of one of those things like, it, if I don't throw a punch, she's not going to throw a punch. If she doesn't throw a punch, I won't throw a punch. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and the badger is uh, is he going to leave now at this point uh, after his little jab? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, like he's not he's not twisting the screws or anything. Uh, or no, the the twisting the screws will be. I'm sorry for frightening you. <coughs> you caught me off guard. We're not. <coughs> it won't happen again. Oh, never. And she presses the button on her Bluetooth and is obviously on her, already on her way to another call. Doesn't even uh, see you out. Oh, yeah, uh, but he does go, um... <laughs> Alright, now, it is about 9.30, guys, so I'm going to take off. Uh, I know we didn't get yeah. to have as much damn time as I wanted, but... And, and, you yeah, you did really well with what you had time for. Uh, Finley gets out to the helipad with everybody and goes, We're fucked! We're fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. He steps onto the on onto the chariot. We are fucked. We're fucked. We're fucked. Everybody on. We are fucked. She two knows. K's. What? Yeah, we, just... we are. We are fucked with two K's. Uh, three C's, two K's. <laughs> You're like so. It didn't go well then. Oh no! It went spectacularly. 
She knows everything about us. Oh. I would have assumed so anyway. I mean, there's nothing to know about me. I'm just a guy named Frank, you know? <laughs> That'd be great to know some things about me because Fuck, I... Fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really so, know. Uh, and, and I'm going to give them, like, the, the short and dirty, you know, we're not even supposed to be in the city. The Grant Corporation is anti-super as it gets. Yeah, she effectively said that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, there, there's, there's a reason the super's population inside Haven is so low. And all the ones that are here work directly for the Grant Foundation. Oh, thank God. I mean, I'm not super in any way. I just, you know. <laughs> I'm just Frank. I'm, I'm just Frank. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. Or, oh. yeah, the it would say like, super Frank. It yeah, would, like, exactly. Weird. <laughs> you can... No, Frank, you don't understand. Once again, big fucking seven and a half of badger. You... No, Frank, Frank you, don't... you don't understand. <laughs> Christ. This shapeshift into a oh, into you. Super Stop shit. shaking me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. Does this mean there's a target on me? Because I'm like as super as they <laughs> as it gets. Like so effectively, we've been. I, I just want to make sure I'm getting this right, Gary. We've been given leave to operate as heroes in the city. But we just can't get in the peacekeepers' way. Now that doesn't mean that the peacekeepers will 100% do any things that you guys would agree with, and you'll have to kind of come to that as you get there. But that's basically what she said. Yes, yeah. is that you can be here since you're already here. Do what you will, but don't fuck with me. Bum, bum, yeah. Bum, so, bum, bum, so yeah. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> That's where we live. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. And and, and that's that's gonna be uh, that, that's gonna be the big thing is, is when we're like when we're here or when we're leaving. That that's when Finley drops the bomb of oh yeah, and she knows where we live. Oh, that should be my leaving. My my can can I can I change my my leaving quit? Hmm. If you need me, well, you know where I live. Legit. 